It looks like the government will have to take over insuring homes in California, guys. I beg your pardon? This is getting crazy. We are now seeing the exodus of all insurance companies out of California. They do not want to provide home insurance, guys. You know, you guys are looking for these homes, overpaying for these homes in California, just nationwide. And California is becoming just like Florida. They are having an insurance crisis. No insurance company wants to touch the state. And it's we're seeing it all over, guys. We have to talk about this because this is going to affect you if you're trying to buy a home. What are insurance premiums going to look like? Will homes in California be fully insured and be fully taken care of if something happens due to wildfire or any other natural disaster or even just regular things like, uh, you know, a fire in the home or roofs or anything like that? If no insurance company wants to touch it, what's going to happen? We're going to talk about it, guys. My name is Orlando. Welcome to the channel, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I have in the description a real estate investing beginners course and a YouTube course. Let's jump into it, guys. This is super important, especially what we're starting to see all of these insurance companies do. We saw it in Florida. Now what's happening in California? Let's jump into it. It says, it's not just State Farm. Allstate no longer sells new home insurance policies in California. We're starting to see this, guys, where all of these insurance companies are getting together and they're saying, you know what? I don't want to be in these states where a lot of natural disasters happening. I don't want to be in states where hurricanes happen. I don't want to be in states where fires happening. I don't want to be in any state where I'm going to lose a lot of money that uh, from premiums that are coming into me. It's not worth it anymore. Losing 50, 60% of my premiums because I have to pay it out because of natural disasters that are happening constantly. And I don't want to be in states where a bunch of claims are always happening. And this is what companies like Allstate, State Farm, which, you know... <laughs> I have a bias again. I really don't like State Farm, but you know, hey, it, it, to each its own. But the point is, is all these insurance companies are following each other. They're in lockstep, guys. They're in lockstep where they're saying, you know what? If number one is out of the state and I'm number two, I'm out too. I'm not going to become number one and collect all of the losses. Bye. See you when I see you. Goodbye. Californians looking to buy a house and face some of the country's most expensive real estate prices and wildfires that threaten scores of housing tracks. Now there's another obstacle, finding an insurance who will cover their dream home. State Farm General Insurance Company said last week that it no longer is accepting new applications for property and casual coverage in California because the soaring wildfires and construction costs and a challenging reinsurance market. Now Allstate Corporation has told the state Department of Insurance that it stopped selling new home insurance policies last year. That notice was part of a recent request, a nearly 40% rate increase for home and business property and casualty insurance. Guys, these insurance companies, they don't want any part of this. And the way that it's going, number one is out, number two will be out, number three doesn't want to be number one either. So it's going to trickle all the way down. And next thing you know, you'll have government-run insurance companies. <laughs> government-run insurance company will come out of their budget. So what do you think the prices will be for that, guys? Okay, so we just saw that nearly 40% rate increase was from Allstate. Allstate said a 40% rate increase. Then remember, guys, I told you guys... <laughs> I told you guys a year ago, a year and a half ago, that property insurance were going to continue to go up. And now we're seeing property insurance going up. Now, not only is it property insurance going up because of the construction costs, which I stated earlier, but it's also because of the wildfires. And we all know that there's a lot of natural disasters when it comes to fires in California, just like the same thing that was said in Florida for hurricanes. But guys, listen, <laughs> if you get a state run, a state-run insurance company, what do you think the prices will be for that? It will be ridiculous. Would you say it's time for everyone to panic? You will probably see a 100, 150% increase because they are going to make sure that they're gonna make money. They're not gonna lose money on a state-run insurance. It's just not gonna happen. So, and it's not just the hot spots, guys. Because I think that's the thing is most people think, well, it's the it's the hot spots in, in California. No, 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 no. <laughs> because if that was the case, Allstate would say, I don't want to do San Jose. I don't want to do San Francisco. I don't want to do Northern California. They said we're out of the whole state. 
So if you think that increases will just happen in certain areas, no, you're right. There will be a more increased premium in those spots, but you will still see 150 increase, no matter if you're on the edge of California on the west or on the edge of California on the east. <gasps> you will see it no matter if you're in the top of the north or at the bottom, bottom of the south of California. It's happening, guys. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. But guys, let's take a look at what they're actually losing. This is the 2021 California Property and Casualty Market Share Report. It shows exactly what the market share is. It also shows the top insurance companies and what they're losing. Okay, State Farm we see here, $7 billion in rent and premiums, right? That's how much they're receiving. Incurred losses, $4 billion, 59% loss ratio. Basically 60%. You think an insurance company wants to do that? <laughs> they don't, they don't. They are greedy. Not, not only do they not want that, that's not enough for them. The 40% isn't enough for them. They want 80%. This is America. They want 70 to 80% of profit. We're not talking about loss. We're talking about profit. So 60% is too high for them. Next, who do you have? Farmer. I guarantee you, Farmer is like, mm, we ain't gonna be number one, man. We are not going to replace State Farm losing 60%. I don't care if we're gonna get all of their written premiums. We're not gonna take their 60%. So they're gonna be out too. Who's right underneath it? Allstate is right underneath them at number four. They're at 62% loss, 62% loss. They're gaining $4 billion in premiums and they're losing, what, 2.6 billion? Insane. And then you just go down the list. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna see an exodus of insurance companies that are running away from this. If you do get insurance companies that will stay, they will charge you guys an arm and a leg. You thought it was already expensive enough to get a home in California? Wait till you see the insurance premiums that equal what your, what your payment is on your mortgage. And we're not talking about your mortgage payment at 3%. We're talking about your mortgage payment at 8, 7%. It's gonna equal that or rival that, or in some cases, it may even be over. And so when we look at these losses, we see that these companies are like, nah, nah. Let's look at this one right here. Where is this one? It is United Service Automobile. They're at 66%. We look at this one, what is this, Kemper? Kemper is at 73% losses. What is Kemper gonna say? Kemper's gonna be like, this is not worth it, money-wise. Big bank, small bank, I like to make money. You're telling me you're making $1 billion is not enough for you? It's not enough for you, huh? $2 billion, you, you got 30% left, and you're telling me that's not enough? I understand, I, I'm in the same boat as you, 30%, uh, but you know what a company's gonna say. You know the way my account is set up. You know, I got employees to pay. I've got this, I got, we got a building in your area. The move by the two insurance, State Farm was California's largest property insurer and Allstate was the fourth as of 2021 and could worsen what the Fair State Plan, a state mandated insurance pool has called impending insurance unavailability crisis. Basically saying that, uh, they're seeing a lot of insurance companies say, you know what, we're out of this state, we're not gonna do it, so there will be a, you know, only a few insurance companies to choose from. And we know what happens when there's only a small group of, of companies that you can get insurance from. You're gonna get raked over the coals. When there's no competition and there's no chance of having to worry about customer going from one company to another and there's only two or three companies, you know what that is. Price gouging out the wazoo. You're gonna go to an insurance company and they're gonna say, yeah, that's $25,000 a year. Huh? That's 30, 40, $50,000 a year to insure this property, you know? And, and what can you do? You can't do anything. You can't do anything. If you want that property, that's the price that you have to pay. We have a lot of people going in naked, which means they have no insurance. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. There is no way, listen to me guys, there is no way you should be buying a property anywhere and not have home insurance. Don't do it. It's a trap. <laughs> You do not want to do this. The time that you think that you don't need home insurance is the time that you will need insurance. I can promise you that. There will always be natural disasters. There will always be accidents. There will always be mistakes had. All of these things will happen. 
I could promise you that. You're setting yourself up for bankruptcy, financial disaster, and ruining your experience of buying that home. Getting that home for you and your family, it will bankrupt you. You will be in financial ruin if you get into a home with no home insurance. It's not worth it. The FAIR plan, which offers minimum coverage at high rates, is meant to be a provider of last resort. But enrollments have surged 70% since 2019 to 272,846 homes in 2022, guys. From 2019 to 2022, it surged 70%. Guys, what is that telling you? That's telling you these guys are out of here. These guys are, and it's only gonna get worse. A series of wildfires in recent years has increased calls from insurance to weaken the state's consumer-friendly policies that have held down rates for decades. An average California homeowner's annual insurance premium is $1,300 compared to more than $2,000 in other states with wildfire risk and $4,000 in hurricane-prone Florida. That's changing, guys. You're gonna be soon in California. You will be over $4,000. What did he say? Hey. Oh. I can promise you this. If you're having the number one and number four insurer leave, and I can promise you the insurance companies who are not taking any more applications and leaving, they will knock up. If you currently have Allstate and you currently have State Farm, I can promise you your insurance premium has gone up and they're trying to. Hey, look, we don't wanna be in this state anyway. So if you wanna continue on having a policy with us being in California, you're gonna have to pay. 50, 60, 100% more than what you currently pay. Because we don't have any new policy and we don't want to be here anyway. So how about you do us a favor and cancel your policy with us? And um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see you later. That's what's going to happen with Allstate and State Farm. They're going to push you to cancel your policy with them so that you can go somewhere else. And you're probably going to even pay more than what State Farm or Allstate. That's just an assumption. I don't know that to be true but it's just an assumption that you're gonna end up paying more, if not have a very hard time finding someone who will insure you at all. And see, this is the stuff I'm talking about. Insurance crunch is affecting buyers across the state already, even in areas where wildfire risk is low. In San Francisco, real estate agents said that they have seen deals fall through because would-be buyers couldn't get insured. This is what I'm talking about. And I think a lot of people are thinking like, well, I'm not in that. Hey man, Orlando, I appreciate the info, but, um. <laughs> That, that's not me, man. That's not me. I'm not in the wildfire risk. You know, we by the water, man. We, I, I'm on the beach every day. <laughs> well, it's going to affect you. If you think that it's not going to affect the entire state of California, you're crazy. <laughs> You have no power here. It's going to affect everybody. If these insurance companies are leaving the entire state, it's going to affect the entire state. I can promise you that. And this is what the insurance company is saying. In the last six years, we've lost 20 years worth of underwriting profit. That was due to catastrophic wildfires that we faced. So they're saying, look, man, it's not worth it for us to be in this state anymore. So the real question is, is how will this really affect you when it comes to you buying a house, especially if you're buying a house here in California, obviously. Well, the truth is, it's going to affect you negatively. You're going to have to either decide not to live in California or pay the price to live in California. That's, that's, that's insane. And that price is going to be expensive in an already expensive area. California is one of the highest real estate priced areas, right? We all know this. We all have seen the thousand square foot home sell for a million plus, right? We've seen that. But now we're gonna add on top of that ridiculous insurance on top of an already overpriced market and an interest rates that are at an all time high. Inflation that is ridiculously high with it. Hence is the reason for the insurance companies not wanting to be there. Lumber and things that it costs to rebuild a home is almost two to three times more expensive. So in their eyes, they're losing money hand over fist. It's no longer profitable for them to be in the state of California. You have to understand this and make a decision. What do I do? Do I wait and wait this out? rent, do whatever while all of this is going? Or do I go ahead and possibly buy an overpriced home with high interest rates, with high inflation, and now high insurance? It's really your choice, guys. This is the reason why I bring you the news on this type of stuff, to let you guys know exactly what's gonna happen and what I foresee happening in the future. And this doesn't look good. And all I have to say at the end of the day is get ready 
for a bunch of insurance companies to all leave California. And I could see it right now in front of my eyes. I could see California run insurance company charging you ridiculous prices. Be on the lookout, guys. I will continue to follow this story and update you if anything changes. If you're in California, be on the lookout on rate increases. Be on the lookout for it getting harder to get home insurance. So as always, guys, you won't get all of your information from this one video. You need to watch this video here. It will help you understand what's going on with the housing market, financial news, getting into your first rental property, and I promise you the information you will get from it will be gold, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thanks.